Here's an overview on how to put together the tool lift mechanisms. They both go together the same, they're just mirrored. So uh, just an overview of the uh, parts. You have the lifter servo base. You have the uh, motion servo mount. You have two servos here and here. You have an integrated bearing that you'll build during the process. So what I would recommend is get your servo horns ready. So to do that, you'll find the servo horn that comes with your servo, and it needs a little snip so that it doesn't extend beyond the end of the servo horn that we're creating and these get glued together i use ca glue with accelerant like a, a ca glue gel or you can use epoxy but something that's going to have a strong and permanent bond between those two if you're having troubles with getting the right glue you can always stick a little um, like a m2 uh, wood screw or a number two wood screw through there and uh, make sure those don't come apart so assemble those two together, and similarly, assemble the servo horn from your uh, big servo and glue that into this uh, big gear and set those aside and let them dry. So when you are done with that, let's see where I am here, let's close that, and Next thing is to build the uh, bearing. So to do that, this hub is actually part of the assembly. You can see it's got this grooved channel and the uh, mount also has a grooved channel. So between the two, that's where the bearings will ride. So when you're putting it together, uh, take an eye and look at those two spots. Make sure there's no uh, little bumps or uh, blobs of plastic because that'll make the bearing roll weirdly. Uh, if necessary, sand it up a little bit. And then what you'll do is uh, put it on a flat surface and you'll take this uh, hub and you'll kind of slide it to one side like this and then start inserting the bearings into this kind of moon-shaped slot as you kind of wiggle it around and keep the bearings from uh, flying all over the place. But um, it's a little fiddly, but not too hard to do. And once you get all 12 bearings in there on one side of it, then you kind of move your um, hub, kind of wiggle it back to the beginning or the middle. And at one point, they'll all snap into position and then what you want to do is kind of evenly space your bearings. Doesn't have to be perfect, but then you slide the cage in. And if you look, the cage will actually hold the bearings in, um, in their spots. There's room for them to kind of slide around, but it just kind of goes over center and keeps those bearings from uh, misbehaving. So once you've got your bearing built, and you can see how it uh, points into the uh, body of the droid or into the bread pan door, it, it should uh, go in as such, so don't put it in backwards. Then you want to put some heat insets. These are the M4 short heat insets that uh, just use a soldering iron to Make sure those are flush and so they're not twisted. And then lastly, what we'll do is we'll mount the uh, servo onto the servo mount here. And then this is ready to be installed in the droid. Um, you can, uh, once this is put on, you can also mount the gear onto the servo 
because that's that's just fine the way that's built. So we'll uh, bolt this onto the body. It mounts the same exact holes with the same exact hardware. Just put two M4 screws, the ones you took out from the old design, and just put that into the droid as such. And then the next piece to add on is the servo actuator horn. Uh, let's see, where is it? I've got too many pieces in my build here. There we go. So, mount the servo into the servo mount, but don't put the uh, horn on yet, just because you'll need to uh, trim the servo to put it in the right spot. And at that point, you can bolt on your previous arm and what I did is I just put heat insets into that arm into the same channels, and I take uh, reverse this again. I just mount those directly onto the gear, wherever that went. There we go. So stick some M4. I think I used 45 millimeter bolts here and here, and then go all the way through to the servo or to the uh, arm. I don't have that modeled here. I've got some other uh, um, arm that I was working on for a different project, but just attach the arm with its um, cable, the actuator cable going through this slot. Then you'll take that cable and put it into the servo horn into this channel here you can see there's a little spot where this the servo uh, actuation is achieved by sticking your little piece of nylon through there and then there's a set screw that goes there and grabs it and if you have extra filament you can loop it around and stick it into that hole i do recommend leaving extra so if you need to adjust it or, or uh, modify things you don't have just the bare minimum because it's hard to uh, to reach it And then um, you route the cable through here into that channel and then attach it. And then this whole thing can be attached. Hopefully that explains a little bit. Uh, if I build another one of these, I'll, I'll make a video as I assemble it because it'll be much clearer to see things go together than this kind of CAD overview.